Отличная, классная песня. Отличная, классная песня. Отличная, классная песня. Отличная, классная песня. Величайший в интернете. Самое большое есть. Величайший в интернете. Самое большое есть. Appears to be 10, 11, 12, 13, pin 13. <laughs> Okay, good afternoon. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, today I will be creating a memo for myself as to the steps I went through to program one of my Arduino Pro Minis. Now, this is not an official Arduino product, and having watched other YouTube videos, Arduino no longer makes this particular model of board, although I do understand it is almost like the Nano. It just does not have the mini USB port. It has these five header pins that you have to solder on yourself. In order to hook up the Arduino Pro Mini for the sake of programming, you have to have an FT232RL module which requires a mini USB. Myself I created on a like a PCB board I created uh, female headers so that I could directly plug in my FT232RL directly up to my Arduino Pro Mini. My Arduino compatible Pro Mini. Now here is the Arduino IDE software open and I actually have the Blink the blink sketch already opened up and selected. You can open this up by going to File, Examples, Basics, Blink. And, well, I might as well. So here is the blink sketch as it appears in the IDE. And it blinks at one second. One second on, one second off. That's exactly what the Pro Mini is programmed to do right out of the package as I received it in the mail. It's already pre-programmed with the Blink program on it with this. So if you want to test to see if it's working, you could just adjust the numbers to 200. Now in order to set this up properly, 
for the sake of programming, I've already done it. But you have to go to Tools, and hopefully this comes up correct when you plug in your, what do they call it, FT232RL. But if it doesn't, um, there's something I'm going to cover towards the end of the video as to how to troubleshoot that. But anyway, uh, what you want to select is the correct board, and it's important to select the Arduino Pro or Pro Mini rather than the Arduino Mini. You want the Pro Mini because the Mini is something else. And then select 5 volts, 16 megahertz for the 328P chip. Older versions of the Pro Mini use this chip, but most likely if you just bought this recently from eBay or China, it should have the 328P chip on it. And then you go to the programmer, which is USB ASP, so it should be set to that. And if you have all those settings correct, you should be able to compile and upload this Blink sketch. So I will compile it. And I had success with it, and now I will upload it. And it worked successfully. If it doesn't work successfully, it's You might have different problems, but when I was originally uploading this Blink sketch to my Arduino Pro Mini through the FT232RL, I was getting some error messages in orange, which was telling me to go to the Arduino website to uh, troubleshoot to troubleshoot um, some uploading. But I kind of reasoned that the problem I was having was really a COM port error. So if you're having that problem, you could maybe do what I did. I just Googled select Arduino COM port. I tried to expand this, so I clicked on more items, and it actually takes you directly to the Arduino website and the steps are listed here and I'll just get right to the conclusion having gone to control panel and gone through and checked the ports and just kind of double clicking on this actually um, I don't know maybe refreshed my computers uh, kind of input output test checking which devices are hooked up to the computer and it seemed to recognize the um, the FT232RL when I went through control panel and did that. So then it was able to compile and upload no problem. So if you're having trouble uh, getting your code, your blink sketch or whatever you're programming to upload through the uh, FT232RL to your Pro Mini, then it's good to go through Control Panel and try to uh, kind of get your computer to refresh and check what devices are hooked up to it on the COM ports. And hopefully that might solve the problem getting the IDE to recognize the correct COM port. For me, simply plugging the FT232RL, whatever it's called, into my computer did not really adjust the COM port, so that was a problem for me. So, being more specific, if you click on the Start menu for your computer, right, like there's mine, and you go to Control Panel, you could just type in, in the search bar, uh, 
you know, control panel just to get your control panel open, which should bring you this. And then you go to, uh, hold on, I'll go back. Okay, so here's control panel. Then you go ahead and click on system and security. So once you're there, then click on system. I don't really want to show all the details of my computer on the recording software screen, so I just won't. But anyway, uh, go to device manager. Then on device manager, click on ports. And simply that act of doing that kind of refreshed my computer and seems to have selected the correct, the correct USB port. And even here, when I click on this, What's it saying? It shows uh, device type, COM port, manufacturer FTDI. That is the manufacturer of the the uh, FT two thirty two RL FTDI. So um, my computer going through control panel was able to uh, recognize this device. And then when I went back into the IDE program and I hit upload, it seemed to upload no problem. So that might not be a catch-all solution for all the problem problems you could possibly have with your Arduino and uploading, but it was the one I encountered, so I thought I would just make a video on it. I suppose maybe a title for this video would be um, Getting Your Arduino to rec or getting your IDE to recognize the correct COM port. I have to speak loudly so you can hear me. But here's the, uh, what do they call it, FT232RL made by FTDI, something like that. That's what this programmer is. It's hooked up to the mini USB and then it's um, going into my computer, my desktop computer. And then it's going into the uh, Ar Arduino Pro Mini on this end. And I soldered, or soldered, however you say it, this uh, little PCB board with all the wires. Now, I actually clipped this one. This is the CTS plug. You'll notice there's six pins on the programmer and six pins on the Pro Mini. And CTS stands for uh, Clear to Send. And I guess that's supposed to be grounded. Uh, I was watching a troubleshooting video on programming it, and the guy didn't, in one video, a guy didn't hook up the CTS pin altogether, so I thought I should clip it just so it's not being used. Well, maybe that wasn't the best thing. I might actually solder this back together. Uh, it's supposed to be sent to the ground on the Arduino. Although I did um, use the programmer with this clipped, and it still programmed the Arduino no problem. So maybe this CTS pin clear to send is not particularly necessary. So maybe I just learned something for everyone's sake. So you're welcome. Um, anyway, uh, this is the Blink program, and I uh, set it to 200 milliseconds, so it's blinking at a faster rate. I'll just show you the computer screen. Okay, so here's the blink sketch. And uh, yeah, 200 milliseconds is what I sent it to. It was originally at 1,000. That's the original blink sketch. And I'll just put it back to that. And uh, I'll verify the sketch. I'll zoom out here. So it's compiling, I guess. Or it already has. It's done compiling. And uh, now I will upload it. And I guess it's a success. So if I go back to the device, you can see it's a slower blink rate on the Arduino Pro Mini here. It's a slower blink rate. Okay, so we'll just reset it to 200 really quickly. I'll compile it. I'll upload it. 
And it's, it's a success because it's blinking quickly again. Thank you.